like they filmed this video on the iPhone 6 they have had for four years, September 2014. Anyway, if you like this video, if you find this video is good information, help me, give it a thumbs up. If you think this video is horrendous in effective information, give it a thumbs down. I'll take you through a quick walk. Actually, the elevator. People want to get lean, but don't take the stairs. Take the stairs. If you're going to be lean, stay lean, stay fit. Um, oh, that angle's not so good, is it? <laughs> the best bit of advice I can give people out there is pretend your parents are dead. What do I mean by that? So many people, you know, that this video might be really shallow at the start, it might be a little bit deep. Again, person, personal preferences there. The biggest thing I can tell people is like, you know, like go to any university and uh, talk to people who are studying law or medicine or physics, all these really, really fucking hard and arduous degrees, etc. People do really fucking hard. I mean, the workload's insane. It's like the drugs people take, the Ritalin, and Adderall, just to function, the caffeine, the, all this stuff, the, the cramming, it's just a fucking fucked up way that it is high pressure university. Um, ask the most of those students, you know, how many of them are really doing it because they want to do it, you know what I mean? I say, why don't you quit this shit and go do what you really want to do? Oh, my parents would kill me. Exactly. Live as if your parents are dead. It's one of the best things, bit of advice I could ever give anyone, and I live that. I started living that back in 1996. Um, not, not that I hate my parents, you know, <laughs> not at all. But my dad, he, he has passed away. Um, but I definitely, when he did die, I was like, fuck, I'll get my life in order, man. I'm gonna stop fucking around. And that's what motivated me to get more aggressive uh, online in terms of promoting health options for people out there. Um, I thought videos about that story, but, so by living well, as if your parents are dead, that's going to be the biggest tip, man, because so many people do everything every day because they're like, I want my parents happy. It's like, man, parents want you to be happy. See, unless it's making you happy, then don't do it. Don't do it because you make your parents happy. Because guaranteed, that's what they did. Yeah? That's what they probably did. So if you continue that thing on, then, then what are you going to do if you ever have kids or um, looking after kids or whatever? Yeah? It's just a bad routine to get into. So, I don't give a fuck what people really think about me. People write all sorts of shit about me on the internet to get hits or make money or donations or whatever. Whatever. See, people get jealous of my lifestyle. They don't get that, you know? I'm 40. I'm retired. I travel the world. I've always got a Victoria's Secret model style girl on my arm. And that's a really fucking shallow, but that's the truth. And a lot of people can't handle that, you know? They're the people who are really scared to break out of the mold of their parental expectations. And they fucking, when they see someone else do it, they're like, Aah! they have to attack them, harass them, character assassinate them. Always check the road when you cross here in Thailand. People come from any direction, any direction. So, and don't make sure you don't smack anyone, I'm gonna smack that guy off my fucking phone. Just pay attention in life. But if you are living for your parents' expectations and ideals, then man, you're gonna be in a sorry, sorry situation. You know this guy here? He could be a worker, he could just be a drunk dude, whatever. What he's doing right now, he's looking after his needs. So thumbs up for me, he's getting some rest. He's not worrying about, oh, what will people think of me? He's going, I need some rest, I need some physiological rest, I'm gonna go do that. And that's really, really powerful. So if you are at university, ask yourself the question, am I really having a lot of joy here? Do I really want to do this? You know? Look at so many people out there, man. Just go to any university campus and talk to people. People open up a lot of fun, especially if you're like more down to earth and stuff like that and just they feel they're not gonna judge them in a negative way, that you're there to help, people will really open up. That's been my personal experience. While well, I'm in the market because I'm dropping off these polystyrene things. I've washed them and I'm gonna drop them off for recycling. Um, because otherwise this gets burned here, man. If you use these things in Thailand, wash them and give them back. Otherwise they're gonna get burned. More fumes in the world we don't need. And so we have all this uh, this reality where people were just doing this stuff for their parents, you know, doing this job, being with this person, living in this country, having this you know, education or whatever, because their parents wanted to do it. Like, what? I can't do YouTube, YouTube's no real job. I just got out of bed, you know. I literally just got out of bed, put on this shirt, I use an eye mask, this is my morning face, and I'm out here doing whatever the fuck I want to do every day, man. And the reason why I can do that is because I don't care what people think as much as the next person does, or what I used to care about. I used to care so much and I wouldn't do things that I really found joy because I was worried about what people would say about me, you know? And it, it, it's just like, that's like being a prisoner of your own personal beliefs in, an emotional prisoner. And you see all the time people do shit to impress other people they don't really care about. Or they do it for their parents. 
<laughs> and that, that is guaranteed, 100%. You're not gonna live the life you deserve to live. Because we're not here on this planet to live what our parents want us to live, you know? I mean, sure, respect yourself, you know, don't abuse drugs and shit because your parents don't want you to. Yeah, do that, for sure. But if it's in your heart, you want to do something in life, be it some sort of career or travel or be that sort of person you want to be, maybe you want to come out of the closet, maybe you're gay and you haven't told anyone, but you're worried about what your parents might think, come out of the closet, bro. Come out of the closet. And there's so, I mean, I can tell you some stories about that one. So just do it, man. You know, fuck your parents. I mean, they'll, they'll get over it. And if they don't, then, you know, why base your happiness on your parents' happiness about their expectations of you? Why? Because you want to live a fucking torturous lifestyle? You want to torture yourself every day because you're not living up to your parents' expectations of you? Fuck your parents' pressure, man. Don't, I mean, I don't want people to go, all right, this video makes sense, I'm going to quit uni today. I'm going to tell my parents to fuck off. No, you have to do that. You can quit uni today if you want. But you have to tell them to fuck off. You can just say, hey, look, I really appreciate the support. I appreciate you bringing me into this planet. Appreciate everything. Appreciate so many things. But I, I would have been an adult now. And part of being an adult is making your own life direction. Especially as a man. Especially as a man. It's not begging for money from other people. It's like getting out there every day, waking up early, working hard, earning a living by providing incredible value to the community around you. It's not about leeching or sponging. It's about providing incredible value. And the more money you earn, the more you should be given back. Right? Try create and provide incredible value. It's unbeatable. And that's, that's part of being a man. So tell your parents, yeah, I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing this. I mean, I, I'm talking to people all the time. I'm like, what do you want to do? And like, I want to do this. I'm like, why aren't you doing it? Oh, my parents want me to do it. Like, what? I don't ask what the fucking parents want you to do. I want to ask what the fuck do you want to do in life? You know? and, and then by not doing that, then you, you're going to grow up in the drugs and alcohol. Go come here to Thailand. You see so many people getting smashed, man. Getting smashed. The amount of alcohol and drugs here in Thailand that the top tourists use is incredible. Every day people are getting smashed because they're like, it's coming to escape their parents' expectation. They go wild, man. They go wild. Go to frat parties, man. You want to see kids going wild? Go to a frat party. Some Ganyar Durian. You know, because these people have to go wild because they're like, oh, I've this, got this expectation of my parents. I don't know how to deal with it. That's making them crazy. So relieve that expectation by just saying, I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do every day. I want to be YouTube, I'm going to do that. I want to quit uni, I want to do that. I want to go to uni, I'm going to do that. You know, I want to quit my parents' job, their work that I really hate and I find boring and tedious and I'm just no joy at all. Do it, quit today, don't turn up. Tell them, or give them notice. Maybe give them notice. <laughs> Maybe give them notice. Say, look guys, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm out. You know, I appreciate the job opportunity, etc. but I'm out, I can't do this no more. You know, and become your own person. Making your own income, etc. And fucking live on welfare if you have to. Live on the street, collect cans if you have to. Anything, 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 but live to your parents' expectations of stuff that you want to want to do, right? So there you go. If you want to be vegan, do it. If you want to be, if you come out of the closet, do it. If you want to be a YouTuber, traveling in Thailand, following Dude Rider's footsteps, being a pro YouTuber, do that, you yeah? know? Get a couple of my ebook, cut the fuck up. Step by step how to do that. Look how many people have done that, you yeah? <laughs> know? So, people can say whatever they want to say about Dude Rider, but there's one thing that is true, 100%, is the advice I give people is the best. Because I test it myself, and I'm addicted to giving people the best information, providing the best value. And uh, it's just, it's a, it's a laugh. People get really, really riled up, you know? Like, all those videos I've done over the last 10 years, over 5,000 videos, providing incredible value, incredible insights for free. And some people just get so miffed about that. Don't quit university, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, well, 10 years later, look where I am. Look where I am. You know, I'm not gonna be dead today. I understand that. And the reality that you could be dead today should be enough motivation for you to just live your dreams and not give a fuck what anyone else thinks. Because otherwise, otherwise you're gonna be a victim of that social pressure. A victim. Can you call it a victim? A self-imposed, isn't it? A self-imposed. It's a self-imposed prison term. An emotional prison term you put on yourself while living up to the expectation of your parents. So pretend your parents are dead. If your parents were dead today, if your entire family was dead today, what would you do today? What would you do tomorrow? Think about that. And that should be your answer. Like, then you're really following your heart to being that spontaneous person. And I'll tell you what, if anyone really gives a fuck about you in life, they will be fucking so happy for when your happiness, for your happiness. When you're happy, they'll be happy. And those who mind do not matter. And those that matter do not mind. So if you're living your heart, living your purpose, finding your purpose, doing good shit on the planet, providing incredible value to people around you, then those who are conscious and those who care about you 
will see that eventually. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but maybe in 10 years time they'll see it. But don't hold your breath for them to see it. Every day, breathe that purpose, breathe that fucking instinct of what you're here on the planet to do. For me, that's helping people get healthy and fit. That's what I love to do. So I just, you know, I G up on that, man. And I was, met, met a guy the other day uh, in Bangkok, and I talked for maybe an hour, and I just, I just boom, no steam, I could just flow so good, because he's just asking all these questions, and it's just, it was my purpose. You don't need drugs to do your purpose in life. Simple as that. So if you find you need stims or whatever to, to go to that job, to do that shit, or the alcohol, to be around those people, or to escape that reality, then that's not what your purpose is here to do. That's why I encourage people to be alcohol free, be drug free, be stimulant free, at least for a year or longer, just so you can really get in touch with why you're here on the planet. Otherwise, you get caught up in the distractions with the drug world. That's another video. Anyway, I rambled and ran it on. You, this video provided value, give it a thumbs up. If you had no, if you learnt nothing in this video, if you're more confused than ever, give it a thumbs down. But living to your parents' expectations is the worst thing you can do. Especially as a man. Oh my god. I'm gonna have kids because my parents want me to. I would want to get a vasectomy, it makes sense, Harley. But what would my mum say? My mum wants me wants to be a grandma. Fuck your mum. Fuck your dad. What do you want to do? You know? Does the planet need more kids? I mean, I don't know. Come travel with me. And I'll show you the orphans, and I'll show you the people on the street, and I'll show you the pollution and the insanity going on. I'll show you durian for 20 bucks a kilo, and I'll show you KFC for five bucks a meal. How does that work? How does KFC been able to produce a meal for five bucks when a local organic durian could be 20 for 30 bucks a kilo? That's grown here and 10 Ks away. How, how does that work? Do you want to have more kids? Anyway, uh, live to your expectations, to your reality. And, and it's hard at the start because it builds emotional muscle by doing it. You don't develop muscle by being weak, you know, physically. You don't, I should say, you don't develop emotional muscle from being emotionally weak, do you? I feel that resistance from everyone and just take a deep breath, fucking breathe out your first world problems and just get it done. All right? Otherwise, you're just gonna be one of those people, man, stuck at university, just going, well, I wish I'd followed Duran Ryder's advice when I was 20 or 15 or 30 or 80 or whatever. I wish I just did what I wanted to do, be able to become that pianist or YouTuber or fucking fruit grower or market person, whatever. Do what, whatever brings you joy, you gotta do it every day. And if you don't want to bring you joy, just do something different until you find that. Do what you do for free. I was doing YouTube for free for years. For years, you know? And then someone said, why don't you monetize your account? I'm like, you, make, you can make money doing YouTube? Oh, I guess that's, that's pretty cool. And so yeah, so do what you do for free. Live on the streets, live on welfare, do whatever it takes. You know, collect hands. And then you'll know you're coming from a place of authenticity. If you need money to do it, it's not you. Don't do it. Carbs, carb the fuck up, motherfuckers. Carb the fuck up. Corn, rice, potatoes, yams, bananas, mangoes, dates, plantain, melons, blueberries, blackberries, moles. Get them motherfucking carbohydrates in. Go vegan, motherfuckers. Carb the fuck up, the fuck up, the fuck up.